you guys welcome back to another video it is your girl jasmine destine if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's good we're back with a new weekly vlog video today is a very special day you guys it's january 7th but january 7th is such an important day because it's my baby's birthday it's Vince's birthday yeah papa it's your birthday he's licking all of my skincare off oh my god benson can you relax i just cleaned my face i love you so much my baby turns one today he's one years old i can't believe it i got him when he was just three months like literally a tiny little pup and now he's one years old look at him he's getting so excited I gave him my haircut yesterday and he looks so handsome. Like my baby just looks like the most handsome way to wave me up. He's acting like a crackhead right now. Look, okay, there we go. Yeah, my baby's one year old today. I'm filming a little um, Instagram reel of like what I'm gonna do today with him. I got some party decorations. I'm gonna set them up. I'm gonna go get him a little like puppy cupcake or something. It's um about to be 12. I just got out the shower, did my skincare, which Benson just licked off all of my skincare on my neck. But yeah, anyway, I got a new package. Your girl ordered some more clothes. You guys know, if you're not new here, you know this is probably one of my favorite brands. I just absolutely love how comfortable, how cute, how fitted, but like still sexy this loungewear is i'm a stan i have so much of it and you know what's funny she announced that she was doing this drop and i was like i'm not gonna buy it because i buy every single drop and i was like girl take a little break but then i got the text that it dropped and before i knew it like i blinked and i was checking out like it, it was like thank you for placing your order and i was like I have no self-control but it's okay because i know it's gonna be cute i know i'm gonna feel like that bitch in it and yeah i'm excited to open her up i just love that on the packaging she has like the positive reaffirmations of like your body on the packaging like the message the brand messaging i love so ah, you're good. <laughs> yeah i'm so excited like legit oh my god so i got the body by raven tracy um body basics i believe <gasps> it's so cute black hoodie zipper love her with the pink double b um and then on the back it says oh yeah it's body basics body basics and then i got the matching sweatpants these are the sweatpants super cute i love them because they're um fitted at the waist and they're kind of like a mid mid rise they're not high waisted but you could wear them high waisted but they're very fitted around your booty like the cut of these sweatpants is why i love them so much because they just accentuate your shape and your curves if you know who raven tracy is she's very curvy like she's literally shaped like this is incredible her body is banging so i feel like she kept she kept the fact she kept that in mind when creating um these sweatpants because she wanted it to obviously like be curved and form fitting and shape shapely and i just love them they come with pockets which i absolutely love so her first i have two i have three i have three of these i have the green set the like it's like a forest green and i get compliments on it all the time and then before that i have two black sets as well the black with the yellow lettering and the black with the red lettering but those were like thicker material the two black sets because like they were earlier um versions of this set so she made the material a little bit more breathable which i like and she added the pockets because they didn't have pockets before and yeah there's a back pocket on the butt i do miss the body on the booty because i loved that um design aspect like I just loved it it gave me like juicy couture vibes you know but these are still my absolute fave so I'm about to throw this one I don't think I'm gonna wear makeup cuz I don't know I want my skin to breathe I was wearing makeup yesterday and to film some content so today's gonna be a no makeup day for me 
But yeah, let me throw this one. Okay, got my outfit on. <laughs> it's the black one for me. So we got the two-piece set. <laughs> oh, and then I got my toffee. And I did my blue toffee to match my sneakers. And I'm going to do my cry about it. Lure vase. Um, period. Because it's giving big sunglass. I don't know. Got the baby hairs on swim. So they hate on him. And I'm ready to go. <laughs> he thinks that he's not coming with me. Because I haven't put his harness on yet. But I'm about to put it on right now. Excuse the bags. Those are clothes I need to donate. Yeah. That's a big boy. You're a big boy. Oh, that's it. Yo, his hair was so long before I cut it yesterday that when I would put his harness on, it fit him mad tight. And I was like, yeah, um, that's because of all this fur because my baby is tiny. Like, he's actually very skinny because he's like a long-limbed pup. But hold on. I'm trying to show y'all. Look at my baby. Happy birthday, Papa. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> and we're off. We're in Petco. I just got him a little birthday pup. Um, like, what is it? Collar? Not a collar. What do you have to tie it on? I hope he lets me do it. Papa, it's for you. Wait, I know, there's so much going on in here. I didn't put a tiny. It says birthday pup. And I got him some treats. I'm gonna give him some right now. You want a treat? Um, so I just got to the dog park. Kind of disappointed there's no other dogs here. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna take him to another one, but a little bit later. But I'm gonna let him like run around. I think he's still having fun because this is like a new area for him. Papa, come here, baby. Ah! Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Happy birthday, Papa. <laughs> Of course he's gonna get me dirty too in the process. This is a cute little, so this area is like for small dogs and then there's another gated off area over there for large dogs, which is like way bigger. But this is still ample space and I like the little shrubbery. There's just no dogs. We, we ran into a couple of dogs on our walk here. The skin is skinning, honey. But yeah, I'm about to play with my pup. Do, 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 do. I have that Harry Styles song, song stuck in my head. Real bad. Real bad. Hi, baby. That was too much for you, huh? He's like, girl, why'd you set me up like that? I think this was supposed to go this way, which makes so much more sense because I had it the other way, like around his neck in the front, but it was definitely supposed to go this way. Oh, look at my baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, Papa. That's it.
Papa said. Yeah. I stopped at Starbucks and I got an iced chai. But more importantly, I got a pup cup. Look at this dog. He's literally he's grabbing it with two hands. <laughs> Yo, he's so funny. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at that dog go. Is it good? Oh my gosh, you didn't even care about the dog? That's how much you are into the pub cub? You didn't even care that that dog just came up to you? You're so funny. Look at you. You know, the feeling I have right now is like the equivalent to like how moms be feeling on Christmas day when their kids are opening up their presents and you just sit back drink your little coffee like I did that. That's how I feel right now. My baby is very happy. He's a spoiled little nothing year round, but he's just getting extra love and extra spoiling today, especially. And I can tell he's very happy. Like we were walking, I don't know if you can hear me because it was a plane going by or something. But um, we were walking in this family, it was like mom and dad and a baby. And the, and the baby was like, she had to be like four or five because she could talk. But she was in her stroller and she was getting pushed. She was like, dad, look at your dog, he's so furry and happy. And then the dad was like, he is happy, baby. <laughs> and I looked at Benson and he was smiling from ear to ear. here and enjoy my chai but like people watch I'm me walking in public I'm not afraid anymore I've done it so many times people see me with a camera y'all know what it is look at that little baby look at that little baby go the little baby is going and he's going he's gonna stick his face in it until he gets every last drop Okay, so me and Stinkabutt just got back from our day outside. We went to two different dog parks. The second one I didn't end up vlogging at because I was actually on the phone with my mom the whole time, but Benson got to run around and play with some other dogs, which is actually exactly what I wanted for my baby. I wanted him to have some social interaction today. I let everybody in the dark park know that my baby's birthday was today, and they were like, oh, happy birthday. He got a pup cup. His face was looking real crazy. And Mona actually left a little something for Benson. Um, and I picked it up for my concierge downstairs. So let's look at it together. I, mean, I took a peek at it, but I didn't like really look at it. But she made him, look at, she made him a little board with all these little pictures of him. Look at how cute. Papa, this is for you. Your auntie gave this to you. tail is going crazy right now this is adorbs thank you mona this is actually so freaking cute it says happy birthday benson today you turned one that's a huge deal and we are so happy to celebrate you today you've been such a blessing to our lives we can't help but love you no matter what we can't wait to celebrate you for many more years love auntie Aww. i'm gonna cry it's literally oh my gosh i don't even have it was when he ate my palm tree. <laughs> she was watching him. He ate my palm tree. It got dirt all over this carpet. Making messes. You don't have to clean. Yeah. Yep. That part. This is adorbs. Should we put it above your cage? I think we should put it above your cage. Oh, and you got a squeaky toy. I know you about to eat this thing up. This is going to last an hour. Like, he's literally... I know this little boy, he's gonna eat the stuffing out of this, 
and then he's going to eat the squeaky thing until it can't squeak no more and it's going to be hollow i'm going to give this three hours but i guess that's what it's for it's for him to do with what he wants look at how cute for you yeah and there he goes and i want to hang up the decorations that i got ah! i got him i'm about to it's about to be a little party up in here but yeah i'm gonna hang up these let's party look at this it's a balloon decor kit let's party with these like balloons that have paws all over them isn't that so freaking cute so i'm about to do that i don't have I don't have anything to blow this up. Like I don't have like a little, so I'm gonna have to blow all of these balloons with my air in my body. Is that what you're telling me? Add the balloons into the connectors, face them outward to hide the connectors. Chow, aw, they're so big. This is too cute. Yeah, he's tearing that toy up. Okay. Wow, I don't have enough air in my body for this. That's crazy. Okay, we get somewhere. Oh, crap. that wasn't that hard. What seals it now? Is it self, it's self sealing. Oh, that's cute. I like this. I like this a lot. And that wasn't that hard. I do have enough air in my body. <laughs> hey! Ah! Like, this is mad cute. Stop. Ah! It is in gold. And, like, I'm so happy because gold goes to the rest of my decor. It's me more excited about his birthday than him. <laughs> he don't know it's his birthday, Jeff. Let's potty potty potty. So we got the S on. That's correct, right? We know it's not the same as yours. Why is that song stuck in my head? I don't even listen to Harry Styles, like, at all. But that song is stuck in my head. Her. Yeah. What a LA, what a LA. <laughs> what a LA. Let's. Let's party. Let's party, party, party. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah! Okay, so I got the let's. And then I got the party. I'm about to cut the string right here in half. He's scared of it. He's scared of everything, Chow. Is 
We're gonna take pictures right here in the mirror. <laughs> Papa! <laughs> birthday boy okay so i just got back from ralph's i got a bottle of wine um we have this brand we didn't have this specific one but we definitely had this in palm springs educated guests do you remember mona mona's here Hello. cuddling with benson i got these peach bites i don't know i want to try these i don't know i saw them and i got popcorn but yeah we about to Turn up for a little stinko butt. I got this from Target. It was literally eight dollars. Love Target down. <laughs> Love them down. They they're gonna have the aesthetic stuff. Cause Petco didn't have nothing. They literally had nothing. Like they didn't have no decorations. And then I got this going with some candles. Look at you on two legs. Are you a human? Are you a human? Or are you a puppy? <laughs> Which one? Which one? What is up, you guys? It is Monday. It's Monday. Mona's here. Ow, Benson. We're actually about to make succulents. Mona went to the flower market for a succulent, and she bought. She got the little video going. We about to figure it out. She about to um do the the moss, some rocks. This is so cute. This is the finished, what is this called? Succulent. Succulent garden. Look, we put a little M in the middle for Mona. How cute. You can really see it on camera because of the white. That's mad cute. I really like this one. How oh, It looks like a rose. Yeah. So pretty. Arts and crafts. Hello, vloggy vlog. Happy Wednesday! It is Wednesday. I've been doing a terrible job of vlogging. I don't even remember the last thing that I vlogged or when I vlogged. But yeah, it's Wednesday, child. I'm actually dressed to go to the gym. I got my Savage Ice Fenty on. Hey! I got on a t-shirt underneath because I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't feel like having my boobs out. The, the top is really cute though, but like, I don't I just threw a t-shirt on top and then I'm just wearing this sweater to the gym but um I spent my morning like kind of doing some work I actually had a really bad nightmare last night that woke me up at 
3 a.m., 4 a.m., and I stayed up and I like watched the sunrise and then I got up and started my day hella early, but I'm just now gonna be going to the gym around two o'clock because I have some other stuff to get done. And then after that, I'm gonna be going to the supermarket because I desperately need groceries. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me because I'm about to go to the gym and I'm gonna get all of my stuff so I can cook food later. I need water. But yeah, how are you guys doing? I feel like this vlog is a little bit slower, but I have some plans for later this week that, you know, I'm excited about. I'm gonna be able to hang out with my friends and see them and stuff. But yeah, I've just been like working. I had a great meeting yesterday and it kind of just solidified like what I've essentially decided to like focus on for this new year that we're in and i'm really happy with the way that the meeting went and it kind of just like reassured me i'm just gonna be like in work mode i mean i'm gonna be doing stuff obviously but like i'm gonna be in work mode i'm gonna be in my travel bag this year so you guys can definitely look forward to that but like this is i guess the first official weekly vlog of the new year but yeah i'm excited for this new year oh i posted a video yesterday too and i was like i'm really excited about the video i mean I'm, it was something like i want to do more like creative stuff and just fun stuff and things that are just like very much me on my channel this year i've always been me but like i don't know like i have a lot of ideas and there's just a lot of things that i wanted to act on that i have not and this year i'm just saying f it to everything like my overthinking you know my procrastination my uncertainty and i'm just gonna do it and if five people watch then five people watch and if 500 people watch or 5,000 or whatever then it's like i win either way because i feel like i'm fulfilling what i want to do and like my purpose you know yeah i posted a like create a mood board a 2023 mood board video with me yesterday so if you haven't seen that you should go check it out because it's actually very cute and i had so much fun filming it and like creating my mood board and now every time i look at my desktop i'm like wow this is so inspiring like things like that are very important i feel like manifesting there's so many different ways to manifest but one of the ways is like having like visual representation of like what what it is, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest so like having a vision board to look at whether it's like one that you print out and hang on your wall or it's a background on your computer or your phone i feel like those are very great ways to manifest and kind of just like subtle reminders like hey remember this is what the bigger picture is these are the things that you're working towards yada 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 you know so very excited about that but i'm gonna make sure to grab my reusable bags for the supermarket because we do not i i mean i try to not accumulate too many plastic bags because one you have to pay for them but also i just i don't like having a ton of them reusable bags here i'm about to put my sneakers on i love this blue these blue um workout pants like I need y'all to really see these. These are so freaking cute. Like. <laughs> it's like sucking me in and snatching me up, but I'm not mad at it. They're super cute. I got my bag here. I need to take them out this waist trainer you guys i completely stopped wearing waist trainers and stuff like that not because like they don't work but simply because i realized that for what i was trying to achieve in my like my fitness goals it wasn't really necessary like i think waist trainers are good for back support for posture for one that helps you sweat like helping you sweat in those areas but i don't know like i completely switched my workout routine to just focusing on building muscle and putting on weight so it didn't really make sense for me to be wearing a waist trainer because it was like it felt very restricting and then also it didn't really help with like my mobility and the fact that like i wasn't able to move in the same way when i'm like lifting weights and stuff so i completely stopped wearing it which is okay, but I'm just like, wow. I remember, I think you just go through phases. Like when you 
start your fitness journey, you know, there's things that you're going to try that you think you need to be doing or whatever because, like, you see people on social media and whatnot using them. But then, like, you kind of just figure out what works best for you. And I think I just realized that that wasn't, like, for me. I might go back to wearing them eventually, but right now, that's not my goal. My goal is definitely to put on mass put on muscle build my body up and like re body recomposition so that i can like change my overall shape with like building my muscle that's what my goal is i'm actually not even concerned or focused on losing weight right now i'm actually pretty comfortable with the way that i look i just want to be bigger so got my wallet got my phone phone keys are by the door why oh, did i want my water bottle oh i need to take my creatine i'm about to do that i ate some oatmeal earlier this morning i've been doing like a shot of creatine so this is the creatine i take i got it off of amazon i'll link it on my amazon storefront and you're just supposed to take a scoop of one scoop a day i have these little like shot glasses or mini mason jars that I also got from Amazon. And I take a scoop of this. And I put it in here. And then I'm gonna fill it up with water. I fill it up with water, the little shot glass, and then I do this. And I just take it in a shot because I can't sit here and try and drink 16 ounces of water with this. I drink water all throughout my workout, so it's fine. Like, I'm still getting my water in for the day and stuff. But I can't sit here and try and chug 16 ounces of flavorless water. Like, not even flavorless because it has a flavor, but it's more so the texture of it. It's just like I can taste the powdery, the powderiness of the creatine, but they're all like that. Like, oh, did this die? Oh, no, it didn't. Yeah, so I mix, mix, mix. Woo! But I like taking creatine because it does make me stronger. Or like, yeah, it makes me feel stronger in the gym because what creatine basically does is help you retain more water in your muscles so ever since i started taking it like three weeks ago three four weeks ago i've i took some i, I took like a two weeks off like during the holidays like the last week of december and kind of like the first week of january i really i wasn't taking it but yeah i like it so far i like what it's doing to my body so far i'm gonna continue to take it for like the next like four weeks because my birthday is in less than a month probably like three weeks and then right before my birthday, I am going to cut for like just one week. Like I'm going to do like five days of cardio because I'm going to try and, you know, because I'm going away. And I'm trying to be snatched. So I'm going to go to the gym and then see what it do at the supermarket. You guys, I just left the gym. Actually, I just left Target after the gym. I bought some protein, um, like some protein shakes. I wanted to get protein powder, but they were sold out of it, so I'm gonna have to get it off of Amazon, which is fine, I guess. But I got some protein shakes, and now I'm headed to the supermarket so we can go grocery shopping so I can have food to eat. I'm really trying to like consume more protein because that is my biggest dilemma in life is that i'm not eating enough protein so we're just gonna get ourselves right we're gonna get ourselves together vlogging in public like this or in routes this spread has five grams of protein per slice so we're gonna get this one Ten grams of protein per bagel. Some steak. I think I want to do these two. I'm actually gonna 
many of these. It's only one gram less of protein. And they're flour. But these, 20 grams of protein per bar. I just got back home from the supermarket. I got all my groceries. I spent about $83, which is not bad. That'll get me through the week. I spent about the same amount last time. You guys already saw what I got, so I'm about to put my groceries away. That's because you be chewing too fast, Papa. You have to actually like chew your food. Like You need to slow down. And then I have a meal prep from yesterday. I cooked salmon. I made like a, a honey sriracha grilled salmon it was so good and some fried vegetable fried rice so i'm just about to eat that and then i'm probably gonna cook a little bit later i know i'm gonna wash my hair and braid it because i plan on putting a wig on tomorrow so that's pretty much gonna be the rest of my night speak <laughs> papa speak <laughs> trying to teach him speak like I'm teaching him right now lay down or lay and speak now nah, your girl is getting strong okay don't play with her don't play with me don't play with me don't play with it don't play with it come on baby don't play with it you guys happy Thursday it is Thursday I just got a package in the mail ah, so hold on yeah I just got a package in the mail Amazon small box I'm so excited. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do, depending on how this is wrapped, I might do a, I might film my unboxing first and then show you guys, yeah. Well, actually, no, it's not, it's not in like a wrap or anything. <gasps> this isn't everything though. Unless the other package is in my mailbox. I'm so excited. <laughs> ah, your girl got a new camera. Ah! So I've had the camera that I'm filming on right now is my Canon G7X Mark II. If you guys like have been following me for a while, then you know I've had this camera for years. I believe I bought this camera back in... I want to say 2018, maybe 2019. I don't remember when exactly, but I've had this camera probably for like four years now. Yeah, maybe four or five years. And it still works great, but it does take longer to focus because I've heard like as these cameras get older, their focusing abilities kind of become weakened just because like that's just the standard with cameras like they're not gonna work the same way they obviously do once you first get them but on, aside from that I've had this camera for four to five years I feel like I've definitely got my money's worth and I just wanted to upgrade and get a new camera so a little early birthday present to myself I got, a camera. I got the Canon EOS M50 Mark II oh. I'm so excited. It has Bluetooth, um, wire, um, wireless connection, like Wi-Fi connection as well. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna definitely be filming and unboxing. I also got a microphone for it. And this kit that I got comes with two lenses. I was actually just on FaceTime with Shanice and I told her I bought him a camera because it came while we were on the phone. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. She was like, did you get this lens? And I was like, no, I got these two lenses. So I think I'm gonna end up returning one of the lenses because I don't think I'm gonna use it. I might even return both and get um, the 11 to 22 millimeter lens that 
she has because I'm kind of going for that same effect. I like a wide angle lens. But either way, I'm just so happy to have a new camera. Like, so this is what it, this is what comes in the box. The vlogs are just gonna be that much better because the quality of this camera is so nice. I got a microphone with it. So the sound is gonna just sound better. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is so exciting. Like I love being able to get new um, tech to just kind of like up my quality of my content. I'm very happy that I was able to get this for myself. And yeah, happy birthday to me. My birthday is in a couple of weeks. It's in three weeks actually. Early birthday present. But yeah, I'm about to make myself a chicken salad. I made a chicken salad per it's a chicken salad. I'm about to eat this up. I added um, chicken to it, but this is the salad, the Caesar salad kit that I got from Ralph's yesterday. So freaking bomb. So good. Hi, Stinka what? Hello, vloggy vlog. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday, your girl. I actually spent the morning cleaning. Well, I spent yesterday, all day yesterday cleaning, and I'm doing laundry today, which is why you hear my dryer going, so excuse me if it's a little loud. But I'm actually dressed to head to the gym. We want to get these, these canes in. We about to get this workout in, okay? But yeah, I'm actually really excited to go to the gym. I don't even know. Like, I think it's because, actually I do know. I'm starting to see some like, you know, progress. Like, I feel like when you're working out, it's natural to, after like a couple of weeks or a couple of months of doing like a certain routine or program, you kind of hit a plateau. And I faced that a couple of, I want to say like maybe like a month ago, I kind of hit a plateau where I didn't really see any progress. Like I wasn't really like gaining muscle, but I wasn't losing muscle. I wasn't gaining weight, but I wasn't losing weight. I wasn't putting on fat, but I wasn't losing fat either. So I kind of just like hit a plateau. I was feeling stuck and I was just like, mm, I don't know what to do. Like, should I switch things up? Like, what is there to do? So I did my little research you know, TikTok videos, looking up things on Instagram, watching a ton of YouTube videos just like on other people's fitness journeys. And I basically came to the conclusion that I wanted to implement some new things into my fitness routine. With the research that I did, a lot of people were saying like, you really need to just like up your, your weight. So I basically started lifting heavier, doing more reps and taking creatine and <laughs> my legs, my legs are so strong. My quads are ginormous. Like, I want them to be bigger. They could be a way bigger, but like they're bigger than they were four to five weeks ago. Like they've definitely grown. There's a lot more definition. And my booty's growing too! Ah! I'm so excited. Like, I'm so happy. So yeah, I'm excited to go to the gym today. Like, I've been looking at myself in the mirror <laughs> and I'm like, now your work is like showing like my work that I'm putting in is actually reflecting. Cause by summertime, if it's if it's looking the way it's looking right now in January, I just know like three to four months from now, at this current pace that I'm going at and the way that I'm working and the way that I'm pushing myself, my body comes summer. Y'all not finna tell me shit. Y'all not gonna hear tell me nothing. Y'all not gonna be able to tell me nothing. I washed my hair, what, two days ago? I am trying something new. Well, honestly, I have to throw out all of my products, my hair products, because I realized that they're all expired, and I think that's what was breaking me out across my forehead the last time I did a um, wash and go. But I didn't put anything in my hair also because someone kind of gave me advice and said that maybe I should stop putting so much product in my hair also like and that might be what's drying my scalp out and specifically that oils could dry your scalp out and I didn't think that that could have been something that was giving me such a dry scalp because you would think that oils would be moisturizing but I don't know so I'm trying out like doing no products so my hair is not defined there's literally like nothing in it yeah that's everything that's going on right now it's saturday i didn't vlog yesterday but yeah i'm about to go to the gym
90, but I was actually doing 110. <laughs> I'm about to keep going. day of the weekly vlog I'm actually I just finished doing my hair got a little pony going on my hair is still wet um, but I just finished doing my hair I'm about to start doing my makeup because I'm going to brunch with my girlies I'm going to brunch with Mona and Mira and I'm so excited because the place we are going to I've had written down in my phone for like a year now literally like probably over a year I've been wanting to go to this place and I feel like it'd be hard to get a reservation you can't really go there last minute I'm doing laundry which is why there's like random clean clothes on my bed and no sheets but yeah it's Sunday I conditioned my hair and you guys I was gonna put a wig on because I actually have a wig to put on I have a sponsorship when I tell you like I don't know what happened to me like what kind of like epiphany I had or what but I really like it's really hard for me to put a wig on now like I really don't be wanting to put wigs on anymore not because I don't like them but I feel like I just did it so much like I'm very like I don't know if any other Aquariuses are like this but if I have so too much of something or if I do something too much then it's like I get burnt out from it and I get like really like over it and tired I'm just like I don't want to do it anymore at all like there's like no like phase out for me it's like I'm just doing something like so much and then I just there's a switch that goes off and I'm like I've done this already like I've done this too much I'm on to the next thing and I just want to be like done with it so I feel like I I was wearing wigs so much last year that even with me saying I want to wear my natural hair more this year, I subconsciously, like, that was also me just telling, my, telling myself that I was, like, over the wigs. Like, I just don't. Every time I'm supposed to put one on, I'm literally, like, sitting here, like, it's like pulling teeth. Like, I bleached the knots on the wig. I toned the lace. <laughs> I was about to start plucking so I could put it on and I was like I don't feel like putting this wig on <laughs> so yeah I just tried to put my hair in a ponytail and I feel like I'm gonna be happy with that my outfit is really cute I'm gonna show you guys I just did a little moisturizer from I really like this one under my makeup from Ula Hendrickson Henriksen the strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer it's like super silky and smooth i really like it so I put that on and i'm gonna put some spf on even though the sun isn't out uv rays can still be very harmful you guys so i really like this glow stick from super goop it has spf 50 and i just literally run it all over my face and i always do my neck and yeah i love it I don't know I can't do the wigs not not anytime soon like if I do a wig it'll be because I'm really trying to like do a specific look like oh I have this idea like I want to take these kind of photos I have this outfit whatever like that's when I wear a wig but like just wearing them just to wear them there's it's so much work and I feel like I'm just also being like more lazy about it but like not because na your natural hair is not easier but I don't know I just don't have it in me you guys like I literally don't have it in me so I'm not doing it but I'm also doing my makeup I'm gonna do this um, primer from Smashbox Halo plumping dew hyaluronic illuminating you guys have been asking for more makeup and I know that this is not like a makeup tutorial um, I'm gonna do one oh I be using my hands for this actually 
I'm gonna do one, but I figured we could do our makeup together. I have to leave in like 30 minutes. I already know what I'm wearing. Everything else is pretty much done. I already put my fragrance on and I smell so yummy. A little like side story, the other day I went to go run errands and I was like walking throughout downtown LA and I stopped at the corner to cross the street, but it wasn't my right of way yet. And I'm standing like maybe like four feet away from a, a man, like a gentleman. And like I start walking when it's my right of way. And he like walks up like closer to me, like catches up to me. Cause like when I'm walking, I'm from New York. I'm walking, I'm walking to get somewhere. I'm not strolling, I'm not lollygagging. I'm walking with purpose. So he like does a little hop skip to catch up to me. And he was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. What are you wearing? And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> and he was like, you smell amazing. What are you wearing? <laughs> and I was like, you can smell me? And he was like, yeah, like the wind blew by. And I just got like, a, like it just passed my nose. You smell so good. <laughs> and I was like, you know compliments of like, someone tells you you smell good. Like that's a really good compliment. Do I want to wear this or do I want to wear the other one? I think I'm going to wear my fuller coverage. Yeah. I'm shaking it and it's a freaking stick. So you see? But yeah, he's like telling me I smell good. And I was just like, oh, wow. Like, I didn't even think that. I don't know. I uh, it, it caught me by surprise. So I was like, wow. I was like, oh, thank you. I'm wearing Givenchy Irresistible. He was like, oh, I see why it's irresistible. He's like, you're a beautiful woman. I was like, thank you. And I just to the loo because I'm not about to be. I don't like getting stopped like on the street, street by strangers, like men specifically. Like, I think it's different with women. Yeah, women is different, but men, chill. Please don't stop me for too long, sir. I did an apple cider vinegar rinse the last time I washed my hair. Today I just deep conditioned. I didn't like shampoo or anything because I actually washed my hair two days ago. My hair wasn't dirty. So I just deep condition and give it some more moisture. And this, the flakiness, like my dry scalp is actually, and I didn't put anything in my hair. Like there's no product in my hair other than a little bit gel on the top to like smooth it down into this pony. I put leave-in product in my ponytail to like define it, but I didn't put anything scalp nothing like there's nothing in there there's no oils because i'm really like i'm trying i stopped and i feel like my skin is definitely clearing up especially on my forehead but i'm just like dang no product in my hair okay i'm gonna try it I wish I wasn't picking out my damn lashes yesterday and I knew I was going to brush today still picked out my lashes like there's no way I can go outside with my eyelashes looking like this this eye always drops out way faster than this eye because I sleep on this side of my face so like these lashes are always bent and they're always like this eye always looks more bare or just less filled than this eye this has been my go-to recently I need to do a little video on it actually for Instagram because the last go-to lip I showed you guys we really liked. So this is my go-to. I do chestnut lip liner from MAC, which is darker than cork, okay? So fill my lips in like too much with this because I don't want it to overpower the color that I'm about to do, but I like 
the darker outline because i actually did the same lip with cork and cork just wasn't it didn't stand out enough to me personally and then i go in with creme de nude from mac also and i'm pretty generous with this i know it looks crazy but i blend the two right and then i go in with this patrick ta lip plumping gloss it's like this really pretty pink color and i put that on top yeah this has been my i need to put my lashes on because well this is my go-to lip it's so like it's a little chola it's a little you know but i love it <laughs> i love it so let me put my, my lashes on and then i'll show you guys my outfit two seconds okay i didn't even glue lashes on i don't know i'm not feeling it i'm really not especially since i'm wearing these sunglasses you can't even see my eyes this is my fit so i have on these pretty little thing jeans that i absolutely love skims bodysuits this cardigan um it's a dress too but i just have it unbuttoned i don't remember where it's from but i'll have it linked maybe if i can find the link and then i have my marnie shoes on my little slides please don't mind the dirty clothes but yeah this is my fit i want a picture but yeah your girl is about to head out i'm about to call the uber to go pick to pick me up and pick up mona See you at brunch. <laughs> we just got to open it. Can it focus? Oh my god. Open it. Open it. That's Mona's fine self. Look at how Looking on some niggas Instagram page that was in my DMs earlier. <laughs> She's checking him out for me to let me know, you know, is this a a good one or a bad one? You know how they be on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty in here, you guys. I just wish it was warmer because it's chilly, but it's so pretty. It's like a greenhouse. It's packed to the brim. But we ordered our food. I got an espresso martini and I got French toast and chicken apple sausage. So we finna see if it hits or not. My lip is already off from all the talking I'm doing. Our food came. It looks so good. I got some chicken sausage. Mona got avocado toast with salmon. Where are our drinks at, Chow? Espresso martini? Yes, thank you. Thank you. 